Hello everyone, my name is Ira Fay, and I'm very excited to show you this game. It is between Vaze and Romp Steel. It is part of their match for third place for the 2022 World Tournament for War of the Ring. So in game one, uh, if you haven't seen it yet, pause the video now because otherwise, spoiler alert, uh, Vaze won as Shadow in game one. It really very exciting game. I encourage you to go watch it. And now they're playing their second match or second game of the match. Romp Steel is playing Shadow this game and Vase will be playing Free People. So uh, let's see. We can see their card draws and uh, let's see what they roll and we can discuss. So uh, zero eyes allocated by Romp Steel and uh, only rolled one but uh, also only got one muster. So that is a disappointing early roll. But um, free people got a relatively slow start as well. So let's look at the shadow card. Shadow card got shadow got new powers rising. Obviously, it would be great to play first round with uh, all of these extra palantirs, but they will not be able to get uh, Saruman in play and therefore won't be able to play this uh, turn one. And Morgul Wound could be fine. Uh, nice to get it early if the fellowship is revealed early. So that's not bad. And free people, um, they have wizard staff, which is pretty nice. Um, it does, it can sort of slow down your ability to get the extra die from Gandalf. But given that um, shadow military is looking to be off to a little bit of a slow start, it might be it might be really nice. You can cycle a character card with this Palantir and uh, maybe look to separate off uh, Strider early depending on what you redraw. So let's see what happens. If I were um, free people, I would expect to uh, play Wizard Staff, move once, and maybe muster a couple times. And then as Shadow, I would be looking for, um, you know, these Palantirs are unfortunately not going to be great. So I'm going to be, as Shadow, I'm going to be drawing uh, probably sh strategy cards, I would think. Um, and uh, potentially drawing three strategy cards. So hopefully if I draw two, I'll, I'll get one that I can play. And that might influence where I muster. It's possible that I would muster Sauron, but I would expect Isengard just because I have new powers rising and I want to get, uh, I want to be sure that I get um, Saruman. Oh, that brings me to one other thought about Wizard Staff. Because we see that Shadow is not going to get Saruman this round, unless of course, as free people, they give a ring, but I, I would probably not give a ring because that would allow Shadow to get Saruman. So given that Saruman is probably not coming in round one, uh, it means that Gandalf may not come in round two because um, if even if I roll a Will of the West and I kill off Gandalf, Shadow will just wait to muster in Saruman until the end of the round. And therefore, I think that makes Wizard Staff an even more pleasant play in this situation. So, okay, let's jump in and see what happens. Uh, free people pass, uh, shadow card gets drawn. Okay. That's what we expect. And great. This is a, this is a perfectly nice muster for shadow. I probably would still draw another strategy card, but, uh, shadow at least gets a little bit of good luck on that. Okay. Playing it here. Okay. I mean, my feeling is maybe you get to play Morgul wound with this Palantir, but I'd probably just draw again and, and temporize a little bit, but okay. Minor. Um, so there we go. And then wizard staff does get played redraw into Eagles are coming. That's fine. And then, uh, let's see where, uh, shadow moves. Okay. So shadow goes into Gorgoroth and, um, near Harad, pretty classic. Now I would consider getting this dull Golder army moving. I mean, you could get this all the way up to Woodland realm quite easily and muster, um, if you wanted to, um, you know, even muster, um, Sauron? Yeah, maybe not. I guess I guess I really would prefer to get um prefer to get Isengard going and then just whenever I have enough dice send this Dolgolder army either to Lorien or to Woodland Realm, but wait for a little more clarity there. Okay, Fellowship moves and gets missed. And then um interesting. So a single um army movement here into Minus Morgul. I guess uh Shadow is planning on going after Gondor. That's what it, certainly what it seems like. With this additional mustering, I might be tempted to go um to go more up north towards Dew, but okay, army moves to get into position, and uh, Isengard gets mustered, and then Gondor gets mustered. All right, and now we draw an extra, and you know that's fine. I think it would have been fine to draw it earlier. But it doesn't matter. Okay, next round, 
Uh, let's see what happens. Balrog is obviously nice to see this early. You can go after Lorien or you can use it to mess with the Fellowship. Swarm of Bats is always nice, particularly when you have this unit here on Old Forest Road, so you can guarantee that it won't be able to retreat with scouts. And um, Horn of Gondor, fine, I guess, um, could let you uh, cycle. And Power of Tom Bombadil could be okay for cycling. Not great cards for free people. Um, you know, Wizard Staff is obviously nice early, but uh, okay. So one eye must be allocated. Holy cow. So this is a very rare situation to get only one muster in the first two um, first two rounds. Uh, I don't know exactly. I can't remember what the odds are, but it's, I think it's like under 5%. I think it's like a 3% sort of situation. Um, it's, that's, that's really, um, unlikely scenario for, for shadow and, uh, could really cause them some problems. So, all right. Uh, free people though, get, you know, fine, fine movement. Um, definitely feeling good about the wizard staff because you're not, not even going to be able to get Gandalf turn, um, turn three. So, all right. So we can talk about what might happen. Let's just go ahead and play it out. Um, power of Tom Bombadil. All right. Always nice to cycle, um, cycle strategy cards. Uh, seems fine. What's interesting here is we're not, I mean, it's unlikely to get North very close to war, but I guess you could get, could get North one away from war. And then once old forest road gets attacked, it'll give you a chance to muster in Dale. Um, okay. So cycle into fear fire foes. That is quite nice. Um, maybe, you know, maybe not quite as relevant now that, um, the North have already been mustered once, but if you get some sort of, you know, next round, you get will of the West and, uh, you know, a character, uh, separating card, which is, which is certainly there are quite a few of them in the character deck. You could end up getting, um, mi you know, minions out, uh, characters out and then uh, use Fear of Fire Foes just to help Strider get to um, Dol Amroth or Minas Tirith, even if you don't really care about uh, getting the North to war that way. All right, Shadow keeps moving, but again, Saruman is, or Sauron is not at war, so this is not a particularly real threat. And wow, four eyes and they don't even get a hit. All right, this is a rough start, very rough start for Shadow. It's always sad when you um, get so many um, eyes and then don't even get a hit. So yeah, moving this army to um, Dead Marshes, it's okay. I feel like you can't even get into Druden Forest now and um, free people are showing an army muster so they can get this unit from Osgiliath into Minas Tirith. Um, I guess you do avoid a um, an elite getting in there because Gondor is one away from war. Um, yeah, I mean, the other thing... Uh, you could do as Gondor is you could move a regular to Druid and Forest, and then when they get attacked in Druid and Forest or as Gilead, you muster him in his tier anyway. So I don't know how much this this really does. Um, I might I might just want to get this army going somewhere. You know, I I feel like I'm going to attack Lorien now. Uh, anyway, but th this is just a, a super tough situation for um, for Shadow and. Yeah, they can't even play New Powers Rising here. Um, maybe they switch to a Corruption Strategy, or not switch, but maybe they end up playing Balrog as a as a character card. All right, Elves get mustered once, and then, wow, draw a card there. So, um, you know, maybe that's the right call. It's certainly painful to have to do that because you're going to end up discarding two. Um, could we play Monsters Roused? You know, I feel like we could play Monsters Roused. We could play Balrog. Um, maybe Shadow is thinking, look, I'm behind. I have to draw into Corsairs. If I get Corsairs and I have new powers rising, like I can, I can turn this around still. So, okay. Um, I mean, there are cards in the Shadow hand that I wouldn't be particularly excited to discard. So that's why I would... Yeah. All right. Well, I guess we'll see. Um, all right. So we do get the unit into Druid and Forest. So that's cool. And um, Fords of Eisen is now um, nicely buffed. So good army movement from free people. I would say the one saving grace here for Shadow is that um, the Fellowship did not move particularly quickly. So that's something.
All right, it's always nice to have wizard staff ready for the move into Moria. So even if you get hit here, you're not getting revealed. Um, Stormcrow, ring is mine. I don't know exactly what you discard as shadow here. Um, maybe you get rid of Day Without Dawn because you're so behind on musters. Um, and maybe Stormcrow, though you could play it to bump elves back. Um, I don't know. It'll be interesting to see. Maybe Monsters is Roused. If you're not worried about dealing with corruption, maybe you get rid of Morgul Wound. It'll be interesting to see. All right, so they discard Morgul Wound and Monsters Roused. Okay, very, very reasonable choices. Holding on to Day Without Dawn is nice because it's possible, even though you're behind on Musters, um, the Fellowship does not, have, you know, Gandalf is still in the Fellowship and still has Wizard Staff. So it can be a while before Gandalf has a chance to show up. One Eye finally gets two Musters, would have been probably preferred to see three because then you could get the witch king also but at least a couple musters and then wow look at this roll all right so um you know this is a situation where as free people i think you just go 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 and you don't really mind losing gandalf um yeah maybe this will of the west ends up being a muster into minas tirith if minas tirith gets attacked so we'll see if they start moving right away or if they just pass. Um, so they go ahead and move right away. They get hit. Wizard Staff protects um, in Moria. Nice and thematic. That's cool. Um, and then Sauron goes to war. Okay, so now we're threatening Minas Tirith. And um, what, what? Undo, undo. And instead, Stormcrow now. So... I think that makes sense. They're saying um, there's a chance you're going to get revealed with your next move. And if that happens, then you won't be in the elves anymore. And I want to bump the elves back. Um, so if you're going to play Stormcrow as a card effect, now is definitely the right time to do it. I think that's cool. Um, I might have just sta saved Stormcrow as a combat effect um, and played Ring is Mine or, um, or maybe Balrog. Um, I see that I'm unlikely to be able to play new power is rising this round because i'm going to have to wait until my last action potentially to get saruman because i don't want to let free people get gandalf this round but if i attack into druid and forest then i think i would expect that free people would use their um will of the west to muster into minas tirith and then if they do that then i can actually use this palantir to play new power is rising which i think i would have probably wanted to play at slightly higher priority um, so there, okay. But this is, I think, I think this also makes sense to keep elves away from war, particularly if I'm trying to attack into Gondor and I want to make sure Cirdan ships doesn't show up. All right. So Stormcrow happens, obviously losing the elite, uh, losing the leader in Grey Havens is the right choice. And, um, now we get Sauron to war and, um, now we move again, get missed. So Fellowship has now moved four times. Um, army movement, army movement. So they're not going after Gondor after all. Um, interesting choice. Um, I think I, I see that. I, I see why that makes sense. They're not in a huge rush to get the Witch King. And it's possible they can get into um, Helm's Deep cheaply, which is cool. And then it preserves um, it preserves the chances of drawing Corsairs and getting to take out Dol Amroth. Um, and we get an efficient use of army movement uh, by getting this army up and to uh, attack the north. So that's cool. And then move a third time. That is a hit. And an eye. Okay, so at least Shadow <laughs> manages to hit. Um, and I guess, to be fair, that is actually the second hit. Um, this this round so um, that is maybe slightly above average for shadow but um, okay I mean overall probably the hunt is still I'd say pretty close to average all right so free people loses um, lose Gandalf right away um, fair enough yeah I think I think you it makes sense you're gonna hopefully roll a will to the west next round and get Gandalf so Okay, go through Dimrald Dale, end up in Parth Celebrant, and a zero reveal. Very nice. This is good good hunting for Shadow so so far. Okay, attack into Old Forest Road, activating the north. Um, I feel a little worried about that because 
now um, free people can muster or, or can um, the the trick with that is if if you attack into Old Forest Road right now, then um, free people can use this will of the West to muster um, the North to war and now you're left with the last die of being forced to either get Saruman which you really want um or um the witch king which also would be fine um or attacking into dale and if you don't attack into dale then dale can dale can muster up and that is is always a little bit of a pain all right maybe maybe they're not too worried about that okay so um swarm of bats advantageous position very nice um, that's exactly where you want to be using Swarm of Bats, so that's great. Oh my gosh, and look at this crazy roll they miss. Not a single five on six dice. I don't know what are the odds of that. Um, let's just, we want to know, we want to know. So to get that many misses, we have four uh, divided by six. divided by six to the sixth power. Okay, 9%. So not as horrible as I would thought, but still 9% is not likely. Okay. Um, and then the, the North unit gets a hit. Oh my gosh. Uh, that's really funny. That's really funny. I mean, I'm sure that's not funny for Rom Steel, but come on. There's some irony in that. Man, that, that North unit in Old Forest Road is like, I am here. Come on, orcs, bring it on. Okay, that is hilarious. And then um, they're going to, of course, you have to press anyway. And now Woodland Rome gets an extra elite in it. What a pain in the neck. Okay, and now let's see what happens with this Will of the West. Uh, yep, North goes to war. So now um, you're faced with a choice as a shadow about getting um, another minion. Yeah, so yeah, so I think I think this was even without that a, a regular getting into um, Woodland Realm. I think it was slightly ill-timed to go for um, Old Forest Road right at that point. So. And this is, yeah, so we, we see the consequences of this. They have to attack into Dale, which I think probably is the correct choice. Um, heroic Death gets played. No hits again, and no hits at all. And now um, Dale is captured, but um, Woodland Realm is now pretty potently uh, defended. All right, that was a pretty bad round for Shadow, and they still didn't get their minion. Um, the one silver lining there is that now Gandalf also will not show up. I would not expect Gandalf to show up turn four, even if a Will of the West is rolled. All right, finally a nice number of musters and um, Will of the West there. So, all right, uh, free people hide using the Palantir. Uh, Ring is mine is played right here. Uh... Why are we playing that right away instead of something else? I don't know. It's not It's not crazy. Um, I feel like taking care of Carrick would be nice now that I've managed to get the North to war. Um, and also, also I'm thinking that, um, yes, we don't want Gandalf to show up. Um, but I can get two minions as shadow with these two musters. I can get both Sauron and the Witch King. I mean, a Saruman and the Witch King with these two musters. And um, I can then very effectively play New Powers Rising with a Palantir. So, <clears throat> and I can play Half Orcs um, and Goblin Men to reinforce up here maybe. I mean, it's, it's definitely not a great situation, but I would be tempted to get two minions and, and give uh, free people one. I don't know. Maybe you just get one minion and then one minion this round and hope that they don't roll well the West next round and use these musters to get the Southrons and Easterlings to war. Okay. So we'll see. 
uh, free people move and get hit with one eye, with one die. So at least that's something nice and get revealed. Okay. So that's, that's something. Um, and Rom Steele says, I'll stop complaining for now. I mean, definitely Rom Steele is still getting, uh, worse luck overall, but that, that was nice. That was very good for shadow. And now armies move completely ignoring the fellowship, uh, to move on to, uh, attacking Rohan. And this is, this is interesting. So can you sort of threaten Helm's Deep if free people don't use this uh, Will of the West? I don't know. Okay, this is cool. And um, this is also nice. I'm glad um, to see this. This is a better play than what I realized taking Carrick. Um, using these five units to take Carrick helps you reinforce um, Old Forest Road, which will give you enough, hopefully, to be able to take out Woodland Realm. So that's cool. It's a nice use of, of those army units. Okay. Um, okay. Rom Steel asked to take back and, um, but, but, uh, Vay says no after the pass. Yeah, it's, it's a little weird, but I mean, it's a high, high level, uh, tournament game. So totally fine not to, um, I would be curious to know in the comments if Rom Steel cares to comment, what would you have done differently? S seems to me like your move was pretty reasonable, but, um, Okay, so muster Saruman, there we go. And now they get Gandalf, and then Witch King shows uh, Okay, no, we go into Umbar and we take Karak with that. That's reasonable. And then um, Witch King shows up in um, Eastamnet, and then um, Fellowship hides, and then New Powers Rising. All right, so to me now, it feels like there's a bit of overkill in Rohan. But I guess if you're scared of Ents, it will let you take out Rohan more efficiently and then presumably pr um, proceed onto Minas Tirith and hope that you're going to draw Corsairs. All right. Um, Black Captain Commands is nice to see. And um, Free People uh, had too many cards. They uh, discarded Mirror of Galadriel and Fearfire Foes. That's interesting. I mean, Mirror of Galadriel is not useful, I think, for the play effect, but I do like the um, the combat effect. Um, Horn of Gondor feels like I probably would have discarded Horn of Gondor over, um, over Mirror of Galadriel. Also, Fearfire Foes, I, I have Dead Men of Dunharrow, so I feel like I'm thinking... I'm thinking about maybe getting Strider, um, I mean, to crown Aragorn. I guess we'll see. All right. One eye, one more rolled, plenty of musters, no will of the West. So, okay. Um, let's see what comes of this. Fellowship starts off by moving in a safe. Uh, Shadow splits and starts hunting the Fellowship now. Okay, and moves towards Helm's Deep. It will be a little awkward to reinforce Helm's Deep because you're going to have to use a character die to do it or a ring. And they do end up using a character die to reinforce Helm's Deep. I think that's the right choice, but obviously it's a little unpleasant to have to use it that way. And Southrons and Easterlings get towards war. Gondor is now at war. I think that's a nice choice. Um... It sure would be great for Shadow if they had um, Corsairs of Umbar now, but unfortunately they don't. And uh, free people are, will be able to muster up in, in Dol Amroth. And so, um, yeah, it's going to be a tough situation for, for, for Shadow. I mean, it's ar already been tough, but where, where are your points coming from? Maybe you can still take Dol Amroth, but it's going to be hard if you don't get it soon. Um Corsair soon. And so clearly we're taking three in in Ed or in uh, Rohan. I feel like you could certainly take Pelargir, so that's four. Um maybe you come up and take Lorien, five, six, Woodland Realm, seven, eight, Dale nine, Shire ten. Could be. It's a little tricky if these if these army units come over and take Lorien, then I don't what do I have to actually go and take the Shire? Yeah, yeah, it's tricky to figure out where Shadow is getting their 10 victory points. Um, maybe Umbar can still take Dol Amroth. Okay. Um, 
so yep, free people muster up into Dol Amroth. They're happy to be able to do that. Many kings. All right, we get... Um, so maybe they're going to go after Erebor. Yeah, t t going after the north, I think, makes sense, given the musters they had at the beginning of the game. So that's good. And then, um, what the, what the, which king is retreating? What? Which king just retreated from west of Nat to east of Nat? Did I did I miss something? No. So Westham that should be should be um, controlled by Shadow. Yeah. Wow. Okay. So I guess they're re um, positioning to go after um, to go after Minas Tirith or maybe Lorien. Um, I guess that was a slight inaccuracy by. Um, Free people to muster in Dol Amroth? I don't know. It seems right to muster in Dol Amroth because you want to defend against Corsairs. Um, maybe it turns out this this unit in Druid and Forest should have been in Minas Tirith after all. Um, yeah, this was this was a nice a nice remaneuver from from Shadow. Certainly didn't I didn't see that coming. Um, that's pretty cool. Um, I wonder. I guess they don't want to put Rohan to war, so they're just gonna take it later. Okay, that's cool. All right, all right. So they end up. So uh, Shadow is going after um, Lorian. So that's cool. Uh, we so I guess they're going for five units, five points up at due. Um, Lorian is six seven. Pilar gear can be eight. Helm's deep nine ten. Pretty standard. Um, this army could have been to Lorian more efficiently. Okay. Uh, fellowship moves, two hits and an eye. All right, so that's actually a nice two to reveal eye for shadow. All right, they get um, they take a random there. Um, I'm I'm a little surprised they would take a random. You know why 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 risk Strider at this point? Um, you know you're gonna have to hide at the start of next round. So, all right, but they take a hobbit. They take a random. They get a hobbit. That's good. And um, good for free people. And then where's the Hobbit going? Presumably they could make it to Helm's Deep. They could make it to Lorien. Seems like Lorien's going to get attacked. So maybe you end up going to Lorien. Um, all right. But they go to Helm's Deep. Helm's Deep will probably be attacked someday too. So not crazy. All right. And then let's see what Shadow does with their one. They put, they put Lorien under siege. Okay. So elves are now one away from war. If you ever think you might play Corsairs of Umbar, it might be nice to do that before you get the elves at, to war, but what can we do? Okay, Shadows on Misty Mountain. Yeah, so this this was a way that you maybe could have taken Lorien without using this big army and then would have had enough maybe to take out the Shire. Um, Shadows on the Misty Mountain can be played in Mount Graham and it's you know not that hard to get to the Shire from there. It's not great. I think there's also... Um, yeah, you have half a person. Okay, let's see what they end up discarding. What would you discard as shadow here? It seems like you're not really hurting the fellowship. Up. Maybe you get rid of breaking. All right, let's see. Oh, perfect timing for power too great. Um, and it looks like there's also challenge of the challenge of the king. Not particularly useful. Um, I would say as free people, I would probably get rid of Horn of Gondor and probably Challenge of the King. Um, though, because I like sudden, I like no quarter slightly better than sudden strike, but, and then shadow probably breaking in the fellowship. All right, let's see. Challenge of the King, breaking of the fellowship. Okay, so uh, free people are still holding on to Horn of Gondor. Um, I don't value that too highly because the combat effect, I think, is pretty hard to use, um, though you do have it for Mary in Helm's Deep. Um, and I just don't think the card effect is going to be that relevant, though corruption can go bad fast. So, all right. Um, one eye rolls two more, gets only two attacks. That's really not the sort of roll that... Um, Shadow wants to see here, and then free people get plenty of movement, likely able to get into, very likely able to get into um, Mordor 
this round. Um, and as, as free people, you might want to use the will of the West to hide here because you don't want it to get wasted. But I feel like, you know, there, there are a lot of good choices. You, you kind of want to play power too great, kind of want to hide with a, with a muster, kind of want to use the will of the West. So what would you do? It's hard. It's hard to say. Um, Yeah, it's hard for me to say what what to do. If uh, Shadow has drawn into Corsairs of Umbar, I kind of want to muster more into all Amroth. A lot of good things to do with with free people dice here. I might be tempted to start with using this army muster die to play power too great i might start with that let's see okay start with the will of the west to muster okay also very reasonable and to dole amroth i i like that too okay uh nazgul get mustered interesting seems fair because you do have black captain commands so okay and fellowship hides and now black captain commands great so put a nazgul on to the fellowship get full leadership in Lorien, get um, this army in East Rune supported by a Nazgul, very nice. And very minor, I might be tempted to move this one Nazgul in Old Forest Road to Carrick. So that if I have to, I can use a character to, to do that. Um, I think that's really minor, but... Okay, and now Black Captain commands attacks into Lorien. Obviously, we're playing Balrog and shadow or free people will play confusion maybe no quarter okay very reasonable and um yeah so that's interesting so uh free people never got to play um yeah this is super weird actually because free people never got to play power too great but at the same time if this if this actually works then if, if you actually manage to take Lorien this round, then elves are going to be at war and free people will be able to muster in Woodland Realm this round before this army comes in. So it does risk them not getting into Mordor this round. Uh, so maybe they won't bother, but okay. Um, two hits from the Balrog uh, and then two more hits on the combat and leader reroll and one hit back so that's a nice very nice situation and now they do press and uh don't play a card and get the final hit and now elves are all the way to war so kirden ships is turned on and you can just muster an elite right into woodland realm um but they don't do that so i think maybe they're waiting to see what happens they don't get hit there and now Shadow has to attack directly into Woodland Realm. So it's interesting that it turned out to, to work work okay. Um, you know, it would have been, I think, slightly more efficient if these units from Carrick had gotten to Old Forest Road first. And then, um, you know, Shadow had um, done this attack with a character die instead. Um, also, I think a game plan is going to include... Uh, probably taking the Shire, I would expect. So there is Power of Tom Bombadil, which is a pain in the neck, but okay. Um, free people move a second time and get hit, but do not get revealed. And um, F Shadow draws a single character card. Um, definitely makes it feel like they don't have cruel weather, but it may be the case that, um, free people will not risk it and they're going to use a ring on this, um, die anyway. So they're in good enough shape. It's probably worth the risk to not get, to not get stalled. All right. Shadows on Misty Mountain. All right. So maybe, maybe Shadow is going to go after, um, Rivendell. I don't know. And exactly. So free people says you might not have it, 
but uh, I can't risk it. They're talking about cruel weather, and I think that's absolutely the correct play for um, for free people, given the situation they're in. And um, Shadow does hit them this time. They get revealed. They take one corruption and then a additional one from the um, from the extra tile. Nazgul get moved around. Um, seems good. Preparing to take out Woodland Realm. I think Woodland Realm is going to be pretty tough to take, but maybe with half orcs and goblin men reinforcing that, you'll be able to. All right, and um, a little late for Nazgul strike. That would have been a really nice card to play. Oh no, I guess the fellowship was revealed, so it didn't matter. Uh, I'm guessing Lidless Eye goes away. Uh, let's see. Yep, Lidless Eye gets discarded. Four eyes rolled. You know, do you do you allocate a bunch of eyes in this situation and hope that the fellowship? Um, hits an eye uh you do have in the hunt pool the ring is mine and so if you get up to like five or six eyes in the pool six eyes would leave you with only three action dice that's probably too few um so maybe five eyes is exactly the right number i don't know all right so nice roll by um free people they clearly I would think should use the uh, Will of the West. Yeah, they do. And they use it to move armies. Okay. Nice that this northern unit is um, coming over to help out Rivendell. I think that's good. And then, um, so Shadow just attacks into um, Woodland Realm right away without reinforcing. I'm a little surprised by that, but... Okay, I'm also a little surprised by using a army, but that uh, I guess they're planning on using playing character cards. So, okay, um, black breath against no quarter. One hit and a leader, and one hit back or two hits back, right? Because of no quarter, and um, foul thing from the deep. Okay, shadow hides. I think at this point. I mean, what's the hunt pool like? Yeah, no ones in there. Quite a few eyes. I think if you're playing, if you're playing foul thing, now's the time. But you'd have to get pretty lucky. I think maybe just give it to us. But okay, so give it to us goes into the pool. Fellowship moves, gets an eye for four. Yeah, and so I think Strider dies here. But um, imagine, you know, the corruption got pumped up to seven. Yeah. Okay. Strider dies. Corruption goes up to six. Um, I guess Morgul Wound got discarded a while ago. Day Without Dawn gets played here and now. Um, okay. You get, you get one. Woodland Realm gets attacked. Foul thing gets cycled. What are you cycling for? Um, maybe extra attacks. Not sure. I would have been tempted to get the um, half orcs and goblin men in into that um, into that fight, so then I could be playing threats and promises. But foul thing. Now that Strider is gone. Um, has these two tiles that can stall the fellowship some um, and and I got drawn so I'm you know it, the the pool is slightly more favorable for foul thing I might have been tempted okay uh, one hit and well wow, three back so that is that is the challenge of taking woodland realm Um Gondor is prepared for war, and then the mouth shows up. Okay, so candles of corpses could be good. I would be I would be really tempted now. Now that I have this many dice, I would be really tempted to put four eyes in, and then if I roll two more, then I have six eyes in the pool. And then if they and if they draw an eye, then um, 
they go up to like 10 and then I can candles of corpses. So, um, yeah, that'll be interesting to see if shadow tries that. All right. Guards the Citadel elven rope. They only put in one eye. So, you know, I, I'd be really curious to hear if, if Rom still considered allocating four eyes, um, in this situation, you know, you don't want to give free people too much free military reign. And if you imagine, you know, six eyes in there, you're getting, you're getting five actions to my four, which isn't great. Um, you don't want to facilitate a military victory, but if you can really slow down the fellowship and still make progress, I don't know. Um, okay. Fellowship gets two movement. They hide and then worn with sorrow and toil gets played. Okay. Could be, could be okay. Elven rope goes in the pool. Shadow is moving. Seems good. Uh, Pilar gear. All of these armies form up in North Dunland. And then, yeah, why doesn't East Rune come over to Iron Hills? And where is this army going? Are they going all the way over to Grey Havens? Are they going up to Rivendell? Maybe they're going up to Rivendell. All right, Fellowship moves. Oh, could you have imagined that? Could you imagine that? Six corruption and stop. And then and then candles of corpses. And you still have Isildur's Bane in the um in the sh in the shadow deck. And the hunt pool is pretty pleasant for Isildur's because all of the threes and quite a few twos are in there. So, you know, I think I think the fellowship is getting off pretty nicely with these two eyes it, to be fair you know maybe all the fellowship would have done was hidden but the thing is if all you do with the fellowship this round is hide then next round i, I put in four eyes again and and now you're gonna have to move or start taking corruption so okay um fellowship gets um you know doesn't take any more corruption uh, let's see if they remember. Let's see. Okay, this is this is good sportsmanship. Um, we're we're seeing right now. Does um, Shadow remember to trigger Worn with Sorrow and Toil? And and this is actually really good sportsmanship by by Vase saying like, Hey, are we done with this action, or are you doing anything else? Um, okay, and I don't know exactly how much time passed between when these things happened, but but this is sort of a subtle hint to Shadow. Are you sure? All right. And they say, yep, waiting for you to kill it. So, so clearly some amount of time passed really nice, um, really nice sportsmanship there. And now it's done. And shadow missed the trigger for worn with sorrow and toil, um, which is one of the challenges of playing this card. You know, it is an optional effect because it says, um, if a companion, the fellowship is taken as a casualty, you may also discard one. So it's not required. Um, in this case, it wouldn't have mattered much, right? Because free people already played their um, their elven rope, and it, none of these are really particularly going to hurt the fellowship much. Um, so, okay. Um, Shadow gets their armies in position, and um, okay. Uh, LOL, very sporting of you. Um, they remember, oh, you were giving me an opportunity to use Worn with Sorrow and Toil. So, um, really nice as, as mentioned. So good, really good sportsmanship all around. Um, okay. So this is interesting. So they're still going to, wow, they're taking back and they're going to let it go. Wow. Okay. So that was, that was a serious take back after giving the chance. So, um, Okay, really, really uh, generous play. Though before there wasn't a take back, so I, you know, um, definitely I would say free people was not obligated to offer that take back. Um, I think because they didn't have too much in their hand that really mattered. Um, I don't think it hurts them too much. But um, okay, so fellowship hides with a ring, which feels right, and then Erebor gets attacked, and now. Um, Let's see where this army is going. Uh, I guess they're going to Rivendell. Makes sense. And, um, oh, and we did see the uh, Rivendell reinforcement card before. So, um, 
random army moving, I guess that makes sense, and then um, get an extra elite into um, Rivendell. Rivendell gets besieged. Uh, use a Palantir. Could be using a ring, but okay, using a Palantir to reinforce Woodland Realm. And now Shadow is in position to get their 10 victory points. So we have um, Rivendell, Lorien, Woodland Realm, Erebor, Dale, and Pilar Gear. Okay, pretty cool. And if for some reason, um, you know, free people come and defend Pilar Gear, then uh, this army can still come and take Edoras. So it's going to be close. That'll be interesting to see. All right, Hill Trolls, nice reinforcement card for Shadow to see. And um, not particularly useful cards from um, for free people. Um, all right, let's see what gets rolled. One eye, two more eyes, only four attacks. That's close to what you'd expect on nine dice. You'd expect four and a half attacks, so that's not, not unfair. Um, they don't have any Palantirs that would cause attacks. Um, any of the besieging... Um, you know, fighting Urkai, Grand, um, or the Ringwraiths are abroad. So they do have one ring. And free people, let's see what they roll. Not enough movement. So free people is n will not be able to destroy the ring this round. It will be interesting to see can Shadow um, get to 10 victory points this round. Um, you know, as free people, what are you looking to do? Um, maybe you just start drawing strategy cards because if you get um thrandall's archers or if you get dane ironfoot's guard uh those could be significant i don't know exactly what else you're doing with these palantirs so let's see what they do um playing carried in ships okay not totally crazy but i feel like um i feel like the reality is better to just draw a strategy card because you don't really need Cured and Ships. They're not going to be able to hold Pilar gear against this. And you didn't get army movement to be able to deal with that. So yeah, that's not going to hold. Woodland Realm gets attacked first. Daylight, let's see what happens. One and one, they press. Uh, Desperate Battle gets played. Only one hit and um two back so that was good that was very good for free people because it means that um it means that shadow is now going to need one two oh wait a second does this mean one attack in rivendell one attack in woodland realm one attack in erebor one attack in pilar gear that's four attacks and they only have oh, sorry they have a ring Okay, so if all of the um, uh, strongholds can fall in one round, then um, then Shadow can still win this round using a ring. All right, Scouts gets drawn as a strategy card. Not useful. Woodland Realm, does it fall? Uh, Woodland Realm now falls. Okay, so Shadow now starts drawing character cards hoping to draw into Grand or Ringwraiths are abroad, which will give them an extra attack. But at this point, given that they did not draw that, they're not going to generate any more attacks. They now have three attacks, and we know for sure that uh, they know... Yeah, we know for sure they have three attacks because the Witch King is not attacking anymore. Okay. Um, whoa! Whoa! What? That's crazy. So Shadow just repositioned repositioned their leadership to Erebor um, because I guess they just figured they couldn't take Erebor in one round with the cards that they had. Fair enough. That's actually probably a reasonable analysis. The chances of doing six hits with these combat cards with only one leadership is very low. So... Okay, I respect that. Makes a lot of sense. Um, they will now need to cycle into a um, card that lets them make an attack with the Palantir to be able to win. So that 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 is very. I think that's the right play. That's their best chances. Um, Fellowship moves a three. That's totally fine. 
Uh, let's see if uh, let's see if Shadow remembers Worn with Sorrow and Toil. Okay, they remember Worn with Sorrow and Toil. I don't know what got discarded. Probably didn't matter too much. I guess it was an Ent. Um, a t what is going on? Shadow is playing Candles of Corpses as a... What? They're playing Candles of Corpses as a card. And they get two corruption, uh, three corruption. I guess, I guess that makes sense because you just want to corrupt the fellowship now. I feel like, I feel like I would have been I don't know. I would have been inclined to try with the Witch King because if I attack with the Witch King and then I play like they are terrible or cruel as death or, or, or Nazgul Search and I redraw into a card that lets me like Ringwraiths are abroad, then I could win this round militarily. But I guess I guess going for a going for a corruption win also makes sense. I mean, you don't expect to get three corruption on that that was definitely a lucky play but you do have lure of the ring um hunt pool is not particularly friendly with this number of eyes so all right Sh uh free people obviously have to move and they get a zero reveal okay so that is that's good for them and um i'm surprised that shadow after playing uh, candles of corpses and going for a corruption strategy is not now also playing lore of the ring where it inflicts one and a half corruption expected either two or one um i guess they're waiting to play orc patrol in case the fellowship hides okay they're 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 making progress on military too all right erebor they cycle orc patrol um, two hits and uh, only one back for free people. Press happens. Grand gets drawn. So it turns out they wouldn't have been able to win militarily this round. Um, Shadow gets three hits and one back. Um, obviously not great for free people. And um, Shadow now draws a character card, drawing into Isildur's Bane. All right. Very good. And uh, let's see. Not the best cards for free people. And Shadow discards Nazgul Search. One eye, allocate it. Oh, allocates two eyes. Interesting. Now they're allocating two eyes. And free people get, oh my gosh, only a single movement. So this is um, almost certainly game over. Um, Mouth of Sauron attacks in uh, Rivendell getting... Oh, sorry. Uh, Mouth of Sauron attacks for Erebor. Um it looks like free people are, or no, uh, okay. Moving Nazgul around. Guahir shows up in Pilargir. Um, Rivendell gets attacked. And wow, four hits in Rivendell. Wow, okay, maybe Rivendell is going to hold. Ringwraiths are abroad, interesting. Orthanc gets powered up. Um, Hill Trolls into Rivendell. Okay, so Rivendell probably will fall. Um, interestingly, Grand is not being used in Rivendell. I would have been tempted to do that. Rage of the Dunlandings for only one. Gets two hits. That should be enough to take out Rivendell. Pelargir gets attacked. Brave Stand. Two hits against that army. Press. 
So it turns out, I guess, uh, getting those two elites into Pilar gear did matter. Um, Scouts gets played into Asgiliath. Uber army and Asgiliath is going to fight back against Pilar gear. And here we go. Battle into Pilar gear. Gandalf leading a 13 hit point army against a 10 hit point army, but in a city. Um, Gandalf is shining. Brave stand reducing. Um, gets one hit. One hit back. Uh, oh, zero hits from free people. Three hits back. One hit from free people. Two hits back. Four hits from free people. Four hits back. Uh, two hits from free people. Three hits back. All right. So Gandalf just died. That was a that was a pretty epic battle in Pilar gear. Ah, uh, guys, you're giving us an exciting game. Uh, really nice. And now Grand should be able to finish off. Um, should be able to finish off Rivendell. Um, yeah, I mean, I don't know exactly what the odds were on that, but um, seemed very likely for free people, I would think, to take that. I mean, they had three leadership and three extra hit points. Um, so that was that was unlikely. All right, here we go, and Rivendell falls. So, um, yeah, really just an awesome game. This was super, super fun to watch. Um, you know, it felt like free people were off to a great start. Shadow had, was like really far behind with minions and then just sort of was able to um, reposition where their attacks were and, and attack and attack efficiently. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't know exactly, you know, w what free people could have done differently at various points. Obviously there were choices, but leave your comments. What, what, what might you have done differently as free people, um, or a shadow. And, um, I look forward to an exciting game three for, um, for, for third place. Let's take a quick look at the statistics. I again, don't know why these got merged some weird, some weird bug there, but, um, we can see free people were pretty high on, on Palantirs. Um, you know, I think these were relatively balanced. So without the, without seeing the actual combat dice, um, split up, I don't, I can't really comment more, but thanks for the exciting game. Looking forward to game, game three. Have a good day.